Hello and welcome to another Baselight tutorial. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the Consolidate tool. So this is a pro workflow feature, so unfortunately it's not available in Baselight Student. However, it is available in all full Baselight systems, um, including Baselight Conform. Let's see how and when you would use this tool. So if we go up to the Views menu, you should see the Consolidate tab, unless you're on Baselight Student. So first of all, what is consolidating? So consolidating is when you copy only the parts of the media you need from one or more volumes into a single destination. If you're in a facility that has multiple local base lights, you could be shifting all of your media from one volume to another. You could be uh, saving off this for archive. So if you've graded a project and now you want to save off the raw media into an archive folder, you could do this. But the simple way to look at it is you want to move um, files from a source to a destination. So before we have a look at this menu, where are our current clips? Well, if we look at our scene container, um, it's set to my user profile on my MacBook. And if we follow the file path down, you can see that all of this media is on my desktop in my tutorial media folder. So if I tab through, you can see that all these three clips are in different folders within the tutorial media folder. So what I want to do is I want to shift all these three clips into a new location. So with the consolidate tool, that's nice and easy. I'm going to access the consolidate view by hitting the shortcut control shift C. If we drop down the source toggle, you can see that we can copy media from not just this scene, but any scenes that we have open. So for example, if I had three or four scenes open, I could go all open scenes and it would consolidate. It would copy the media um, from all of those open scenes into one location. So this can be quite a powerful tool if you've got lots of media spread over lots of scenes that you want to consolidate into one place. For now, I'm just going to put it in my current scene, which will just get these three clips. Now, to explain the directory prune depth, let's first uh, pick a destination where we want our media to be moved to. So to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead, click browse, click on my desktop. So you can see I've created a consolidated media folder, which is empty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this. This is where we want our media to be copied to, this consolidated media folder. So what are these two lines below? Well, this first line here is the source. As I toggle through my clips here, this updates. So this will update live depending on where your cursor is resting. Below this line is the destination folder. Um, again, you'll see that this lines up perfectly with this first bit of the destination. You can see that it's copying a lot of unnecessary folder structure from our source. We don't want to create a users folder and a Lucross post folder within the consolidated media. We want to trim all that stuff out. So that's where the directory prune depth comes in. I want to trim out all of this stuff and just include the enclosing camera folder. So in this case, I want to leave Luke Ridge's hotel. So how many are there that I want to get rid of? One, two, three, four. So if we go up to the directory prune depth and prune four directories, you can see the top line hasn't changed. It's still pointing to our source, but our destination line has changed. So now in our desktop consolidated media folder, we will have our enclosing camera folder and our camera file, and that's it. Cool, so that's that. Um, if we go down, uh, this is the type of copy that you're going to perform. Base Light's very helpful and has laid out what all of these different ones mean. So for now, I'm just going to leave it on sync, but feel free to have a look at what these do in depth. Moving on to the copy method, if we toggle this down, you can see that we have a couple of different options. We can either copy the files in their entirety or we can make trims. Again, all of these options have accompanying descriptions, so uh, feel free to have a read and work out which one is most applicable for your case. But just realize here, you don't need to just copy the entire file. You can make smart trims to just take the portions of clips you've used within your scene. You can get quite smart here and can also create a hard link to the files if those files are in the same volume. I'm gonna leave this one selected. As I'm copying the entire clip, handles is irrelevant, so I'll leave that on none. And the last two options, I'm going to update these sequences to use the consolidated media, which means instead of referencing the tutorial media, it's gonna copy it to the consolidated media and then link to it. You can choose to keep this toggled or untoggled depending on your context. If we do have this toggled, we also have another option and that's to change the scene container. So my scene container currently is set to users loop cross post. If I went ahead and leave this active, my scene container would change to users, loop cross post, desktop, consolidated media. So it changes to your destination. Uh, let's go ahead and consolidate that. So what we could do as well is if we took the directory prune depth by one more, now it's copying all of the camera raw clips into the root of consolidated media and it's disregarding the enclosing folder. Consolidate. It'll put the operation into the queue monitor and you can see it's already done because there's only three clips. So we'll exit out of the queue monitor, exit out of consolidate, We'll go into the scene settings and you can see that the container has changed to our destination because we had that toggle enabled. You see that the sequence path has changed and, and everything is encompassed within the image container represented by percent C. Cool, so let's go into the browser. 
And here's our source media in the tutorial media folder. And now if we go up to our consolidated media folder, you can see that they've all been copied at the root. So you can see in the tutorial media folder, we have our enclosing folders, but the consolidated media folder is copied at the root. So that's a really easy way to copy media from multiple sources into one destination. And as you can see, we have quite a lot of control over what directories we trim or not trim. An example of when I used the consolidate tool was when I had a short film to create and all of the media was on a hard drive. I plugged in the hard drive, conformed the film using the hard drive as the source, and then I consolidated my scene onto the local baselight server. I could just copy the clips that we used after I'd done an initial very quick conform, and that allowed me to not waste space on the server. So the file sizes were very efficient. That's an example of when the consolidate tool was very useful for me. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, guys. I do offer baselight coaching if this is something you wanna explore in further depth. There's a great trick to use the consolidate tool uh, to tweak the scene container, especially if you've already conformed a sequence and you've realized that the scene container was initially set wrong. There's a couple of ways that you can use a consolidate tool uh, to fix that. So um, if that is something you wanted to dig into a little bit more, go check out the link below. Um, there's a link to the Google form that you need to fill out um, so I can get back to you. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I will catch you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.